minibus operators island-wide are getting tested for the coronavirus. Health officials made arrangements for their testing to begin Sunday, 11th October 2020, a day after the COVID-19 diagnosis of their counterpart. President of the National Council of Public Transportation, NCOPT, Godfrey Ferdinand, encourages operators to not panic and avail themselves as health officials conduct investigations and contact tracing activities. I, I must say um, we had a very good response from okay. the operators and the testing will continue um, today and, and into tomorrow because, um, again, manpower is a factor. Um, also, we have this stigma that, that and, and all the pro propaganda going across whether it is true or false. So you would have individuals being a bit reluctant. There are also people, persons that are fearful naturally of, of any kind of test. Mm -hmm. So we are still working and encouraging individuals to go and get this particular um, test done. Commissioner of Police Sever Moshery has announced a zero-tolerance policy regarding mandatory mask laws on public transports, while leniency offered to the sector on seating capacity has been revoked. A maximum of 10 individuals may occupy a public transport. The NCOPT president hopes that this will persuade minibus operators to run a tight ship. Presently going back to 10 or, or, or having a... Um, Transporting 10 is a concern because profitability is just at zero. We, we are just offering a service doing that. Mm -hmm. um, so the concern is that um, operators are, are really, really down spirited on mm -hmm. the fact that they have to resort back to 10 and that um, there is a possibility that there might be islands, um, community spread, spread mm -hmm. which creates even a greater concern to the operators who has it who doesn't have it mm -hmm. um, but what, what this particular case has done is allow persons to know and see the importance of following the protocol president of the national council of public transportation ncopt godfrey ferdinand